Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you some more new product. Uh, Lisa at the Tatting Corner, she's having a blowout business over there. She's just gathering everything for us tatters. So most of the product you're going to see comes from her. Alright? Don't get me wrong. Handy Hands carries good products. They have a lot to choose from. But Lisa is expanding on that. Alright? So, both places are wonderful places to shop. So, don't take it that I am partial to either one. Because I'm fair with both. Like I said, they both have their pros and they both have their cons. Right now, uh, Lisa's pros are she's getting new supply, unusual supply different things that we can tap with. She's dealing with a lot of business, other business places to get in different things we can tat on, tat with, and work with. Do, you know, new threads and stuff. Check her out. Alright? So, let's get on with it. One of her latest finds is called Cut-Ups. Now, what is a cut-up? Well, I showed you the video of the little uh, coasters. <clears throat> this is along that same principle. But the unique thing is they look like lace. Now I'm going to take it out of the package and show you all the stuff that comes with it. Alright? And I'm going to give you some ideas. Now, we, I will be demonstrating how to use this product in a later video. Alright? But for right now, I just want to get the product out there and give you ideas and let's see what you can do with it. Now this is wood. Okay. Now it's not finished. It's a balsa wood. It's not finished. As you can see it's not very thick. You see that? It's not a very thick piece of wood. Here's her card in relation to it. You see? It's a little thicker than a business card. Now with that in mind all these little black things you see, those are holes that you can stick a hook in, pull your thread through. I would suggest using finer threads, like um, I would say a 50 on up, because it will only enhance. The wood piece will enhance the tatting. The tatting will enhance the wood piece. These little holes here are to attach a motif or whatever. These little disc is what you're going to mount your pieces on. Alright? So, if we were going to mount, now this is a little large, alright? This is done with size 20. That's why I say use your smaller threads. As you can see, this gets gobbled up in here. But, there's a the cardboard side. Let's do the darker side because that lighter color just reflects doesn't show well. Alright. You see how it's swallowed up. But what you're going to do is attach this through these holes. Alright. Then tat around the edges. And then you've got a wall mount. Okay. You've got you can put this in a frame like a shadow box and give depth and dimension. You can paint this wood, a, you know, a color to enhance your tatting, or you can shellac it and leave it natural. You can stain it, whatever. And it will give a new depth to your tatting for display. You put it in a picture frame. See? You can. If you waterproof everything, you could use them for coasters. Sun catchers. Can you imagine? This is one design that she carries, and this is the other design. Now, both of these are little projects for me. I'm going to make both of these. She's opening up a new store, and she's looking for items for display. And I told her, I said, well, you send me some of those and I will tat them up for you and demo them and then you hang them on your wall. So that's what I'm going to do. 
And this one is the second one. Isn't this gorgeous? These little cutouts. And they're see-through. So you can see. So if you put this, say you painted this, let's go with yellow. Say you painted it yellow. You did a real pretty purple motif in the center. That purple's just going to pop on the yellow background. All right. You trim the edge in the tatting. All right. Go around the edge. Make it bigger. Mount it on a dark purple background. Talk about a showstopper. That would be a showstopper. Everybody would want to know where you got it. And again, very thin. It's fossil wood. All right. So get you some of these cut-ups. See what you can do with them. Think of many, many uses to use them for. I mean, my mind is in a whirlwind of what to do with them. All right? I mean, they're beautiful on their own. Absolutely beautiful on their own. But add some tatting to it. Take it up a notch. And there's your two designs. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you get you some. And try them out. Like I said, Lisa's got them at the tatting corner. So until next time, happy tatting. Have a wonderful day, and thank you so much for watching.